Hi, so I'm at old, the Old Hall School in Wellington. I'm here with Helen Grant, she's the head of the lower school and we've been working really closely together over the last couple of years, haven't we Helen? Yeah, we've had a great time. And um, so today I um, asked Helen if she wouldn't mind me just asking her some questions just about all the work we've done really and just um, to kind of share with you the impact that it's having on the children. So um, the first question I'd like to ask is, um, I was really, really lucky and very honoured to hold um, Jack and the Genie, the launch here at your school. Um, Helen, and it was just amazing that we were able to involve some of the other schools locally. So we had St Patrick's, um, and we also had Recon View, um, and just wanted to ask you, um, as head of the lower school, if you noticed the impact that the stories had on the children? I'd say that the stories had a really positive impact on our children, and I think it was great for them to see a real author um, from the local community come into school and share her enthusiasm and excitement about the story. I think the children got a lot out of it, um, and I think that the impact has then spilled over into the classrooms in the weeks that have followed on from that. That's wonderful, thank you. So lovely to hear as well. Um, so my focus over my last two stories has been all about building children's self-esteem, um, sort of building confidence and reaching for their dreams. Um, did you follow up on um, sort of those key aspects within the classroom with the children? Yeah, we followed up on those key aspects through Jack and the Genie, and we've combined it with our um, PSHEE programme. We've recently introduced the uh, Cambridge programme at Old Hall and we've run that alongside it. We also um, follow the seven C's which are um, a bible for all children at Old Hall really from reception right through to year six. So those are the seven C's of being creative, being communicating, curiosity, confidence, commitment, collaboration and craftsmanship and I think Jack and the Genie really homes in on some of those um, C. So it homes in on children being confident um, and outgoing. It, it, it also encourages them and um, through Jack and the Genie to communicate with adults and with helpers um, whether or not they've got a worry or whether or not they've got a dream or an aspiration like Jack did in his story. And it also encourages them to be creative. Jack was a very creative boy in the story and we want children to follow their dreams and we want them to be confident and outgoing. Lovely. And it's really, it's all about that creativity, it's all about isn't that. it? It's sharing it with the world. Amazing, thank you. Um, so I was um, really lucky to be able to follow my dream of becoming a children's author um, and I launched um, my first book, Douglas's Trousers, which was in 2017, which feels like a long time ago now, but um, Helen, very, um, I was very lucky because Helen saw the, there was an article in the Wellington News and Helen invited me into um, the Old Hall School to do my author visit, which was the first author visit that I ever did. Um, and then two years later, you know, I'm, st I'm still doing it and my, my stories are growing. Um, so do you think um, having me in over the last two years working closely with the Old Hall School, how has that really supported the children? I think it's supported them in lots of ways um, through the Story Sparks Club. So you're now a key member of our after school provision and you run that club for children from reception through to year two and you're bringing your books and you share them with them and you share the rhyming patterns with them um, and that embraces children working together from different year groups which I think is very positive. Um, I think the themes in your book, of, in your books, all of your books are really topical so George and Maud mm -hmm. it focuses on key characters in the community such as the postman mm -hmm. and the policeman um, and here at Old Hall we really endorse um, SMSC links and values and we've recently held a British Culture Week so we've used the book in that way. Mm -hmm. um, in our reception classes we do work about um, special key figures and we invite parents in to share their professions with the children so again policemen um, and the, the post office worker that's a good one as well and it also George and Maud you know really endorses those ethics of what's right and what's wrong mm -hmm. and I think that's paramount for children of today. Lovely, thank you. Um, do you think, um, as head of the lower school, obviously you know, you've know you taught a lot of children um, and I've been working with you over the last couple of years, do you think all schools would benefit from my stories and my workshops? Yes, certainly. <laughs> I think they're foolish if they don't take you up. Yay. <laughs> um, I think, you know, aside from children's English skills and, you know, alliteration and poetry and prose and bossy, bossy, bossy verbs and adjectives and all the English meaty stuff, mm -hmm. I think the, the message goes a lot further than that. And I think they would really welcome you into their school and I think you should get out there even more. Thank you, thank you. And it, I think it's what I've noticed, sharing the stories with the children, it's the feeling that they get. And it's when you share a story with a child and it's got a, a message running through it, 
they don't forget it because it's about how it makes them feel. Yeah, and I think your dream and your aspirations and the way that you come into school and share those with the children, it's just a great role model for them and I think, you know, Jack had a dream, all boys have got a dream, they all want to be professional <laughs> footballers, but sometimes we all need to look further than that and Jack's dream of being an architect, you know, is portrayed in that story that, you, you know, you wrote for them. And I think your enthusiasm is infectious and I think that you're all, your mind's always racing and you're always <laughs> looking forward to the next thing and that's the kind of people you want in school around children of today. Thank you. It's Thank My you pleasure. so much for the interview. Thank you.